We are really excited that in 2019 we've been able to expand HIPPONET through the Next Generation Technologies Fund and uh, we went out for a call that uh, sought bright ideas from across uh, the Australian University Network for enhancing human performance and uh, we're interested in everything from cognition and behaviour to the performance of the team and the integration of the systems that uh, uh, augment our warfighter to be able to perform their roles. Uh, so as a consequence of uh, that call, we've been able to add another 10 studies um, to uh, HIPPONET um, and we're looking forward to working with these, uh, these new uh, research partners. The academic collaborators as part of the you know, Human Performance Research Network, HIPPONET, uh, we're working with uh, the best and brightest that Australia can offer. The application of the findings will either improve our physical performance through uh, reducing injury, through um, applying some of the cognitive training technologies to, to improve things like situational awareness, to understand how we generate teams and other capability and make that more resilient. Whilst HIPPONET is uh, funding a substantial number of universities to undertake targeted studies, it's more than that. It, it's a community of interested researchers and in addition to those uh, universities who are directly funded uh, to uh, support HIPPONET, there's a larger group of interested stakeholders um, from the military, from industry and from other universities who are yet um, to work directly with DST on human performance who come together at our annual symposium and and uh, other events that uh, we have with HIPPONET uh, to discuss how their uh, innovations within their um, fields of expertise might contribute um, to uh, enhancing the, uh, the, the performance of the warfighter. So we have one project looking at the role of genes in determining um, response to training and also injuries. And we're just about to start a new project. What we're doing is partnering with a number of nutrition experts and also members of the Defence Force and to see if there's some small tweaks we can make to the nutrition that new recruits receive so they can get even better training outcomes. The real value to me has been it, it has been a partnership and it's been iterative. So you know, we start off with what we think is a good research idea and normally what happens is along the way you make discoveries and then you need to change course or something that you didn't expect becomes the major focus when it may have initially been a minor focus. So I think the, the great thing about the DST partnership has been the flexibility to start the research process but being able to change it along the way as, um, as new insights come to hand.